Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. We are out here in Brisbane, Australia. This is like our fifth full day in Australia. We got here last Friday on a Friday night, and it's Wednesday today. And um, first, first few days was kind of like family time, catching up with everyone. And we kind of ventured up to a few places while we've been here. Um, some of the family took us out to Kenilworth, went for a nice drive, seeing that drive along some mountains and. Uh, yeah, this place Kenilworth. It's like the Tomaranui between Hamilton and Wanganui. If you know those in between parts, there you stop at this mad ass bakery. One thing that I'm real impressed with with Australia is the food that you can buy here, like fast food mainly, I should say. I've been rolling like uh, vegetarian for about six months, kind of now. What I've noticed is like when you're traveling or when you're on a go, it's hard to find yourself food because. Um, yeah like most places in new zealand at least i should say don't provide like like vegan food or vegetarian say like pies donuts and stuff like that so i can't really eat it because vegetarian is, is the way i'm choosing to eat so that's the reason why i've been rolling vegetarian for about six months now and i'm real stoked first night we got here went to the hungry jacks which is like um burger king back home and um yeah when we rolled up to the menu in the drive through boom vegan burger Cop that real quick. Once I got it, once we got back and we were starting to eat it, fuck, it was so good. Well, the patties were real good. It was like a veggie patty, nice crunchy outside. And um, I was just real stoked with that burger and um, yeah, real happy. And then we went to Kinnerworth, the place I was just talking about. There was a cafe there, quite famous kind of, for having these one kg donuts. It's those type of donuts that you kind of like, um, what is it, what's the word? You kind of like eat. Not within the time limit with this one, but if you eat it, the whole thing, then you get to eat it for free, or have it for free type of thing. There were pies there that I could eat, there was donuts there that I could eat as well, and yeah, I was just real stoked with that. And um, yeah, look at this weather. It's, it's the cloudiest it's been since we've been here, but um, yeah, the weather here is like, like nine times out of ten, real nice, real nice. Today we're actually going to go do something else, we're going to hit the city for the first time. So we're in the northern suburbs of Brisbane and, oh, excuse the shadow, here we go. So today's the first time that we're going to hit the city, we're going to take public transport. There's a train station not too far from here, so we're going to go and um, crack that real quick. It takes about 80 minutes they reckon and we're going to central London. So we're going to hit this koala sanctuary and um, cuddle some koalas or something and have a nice scenic cruise on the river in Brisbane and um, yeah that's us today so um, let's get into it. We're not in central London, we're in central Brisbane. So we just jumped on a train from Dakabin and we've made it to yeah, central Brisbane. Every time you're in a huge city, you should probably take like a trans or metros wherever you are because they're probably the most efficient and cheapest way to travel around. And um, yeah, so that's what we've done. Usually they're pretty easy to follow once you get there or once you've done a couple of rides, they're all color coded and um, they usually voice over while you're in the train as well. So that's pretty good. Anyway, when we rolled up to Central, this reminds us of London, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the London Eye, but yeah. Because they're like something small. like it. The um, ones that we were in were huge. Yeah, but. it's the same thing though. But um, cool. that's that Ferris sort wheel of thing, and then there's the river behind us. <laughs> so today we're going on a like a river cruise, scenic cruise through Brisbane on the river, slash Koala Central Central Erie Central. Area? Sanctuary visit, we're gonna go and see some koalas and stuff like that. Um, because what else do you do in Aussie? Funny thing is, we haven't even seen a kangaroo yet, but we're gonna look at some friendly, cuddly um, koalas. I hope they're friendly. Yeah, I hope so too. Apparently, um, my cousin said that there are snakes and spiders at the koala sanctuary too. Yeah. No deal. I ain't seen them. <laughs> yeah, we just want koalas. That's all we want. Yeah. If you got time. Can we have a little talk? Ooh, we constantly thinking about you. So I think this is where our pontoon is for our koala cruising river experience that we're about to go on. We're about an hour early, so we've got 
what a time to kill. It's about 9 o'clock and we can start boarding from 9.30 and it departs from here at 10 o'clock. So we're going to go and look for some coffee or something to drink real quick and then we'll come back and then, yeah, get us us in there. I'm also low-key hoping that that boat in the back there isn't the boat we're going on because um, on the picture on the website that I booked it through, it was much more, uh, what do you call it, bigger and looks more better, but I don't know. That's why I've never wanted to come to Australia. The size of their fucking spider, bro. Ooh, that's that intimidating. Huge. That's intimidating. And we're not even at the zoo. Jesus. Okay, we found coffee. It was like literally a walk around the corner. So we're going to get something to drink real quick and then we'll get to boarding onto the um, River Cruise Club experience. Some things I want to change. Things I like to no rewind. to push on me like ooh. No time for running I'm I'm letting you know I'm serious. Okay, there's our river cruise boat that we're going on today. I knew it was bigger and a bit more better looking. <laughs> no need to push on me like No time for running a mark. Okay, so we are on our boat now. If we look this way, that's where the Ferris wheel is. And behind me there at the bridge, that's the Victoria Bridge. This is pretty much central Brisbane. Um, we're like way up, I'm thinking that's north because that's where we came from in Dacobin. Um, this is more of central, the, side, the other side of the river is central. And now uh, yeah, we're just getting ready to go for a cruise now. And yeah, can't wait. to the Lone Pine Sanctuary. Um, this is where all the koalas are. Um, I realised it was established in 1927. Yeah, it's been here for ages. So we were just told this is like one of the only places around in Aussie that you can hold a koala or legally hold a koala. So so we just pulled out real quick, waiting for Lindy. I got the deep breath car. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for a few stairs, deep breathing. Can we go this way? What? No, but it says you can go along here and then up. Let's go, let's go. So we just pulled in and our first plan of attack while here is trying to go and hold the koalas. So we're trying to find the fastest route there. Um, yeah, see koala photos. You can hold the koalas at around 12 o'clock. And each quality, it can only be held up to 30 minutes, so you got to get in there quick, I guess. So, um, yeah, we're just going in. Whilst we're on our mission to find the koala part, um, we are also yet to encounter some kangaroos or wallabies, and you can also feed them here at the park as well, so we'll probably get to that after the koala thing. Um, I guess I had to change the frame rate down to 24 frames so because it's too dark for 60 but so we've paid for our tickets and now we're about to just line up and um three we're currently lining up um in position waiting to get our photo taken we're going to hold a koala I'm very excited I saw a whole lot in the trees over there they're all sleeping they're like little balls balls of fluff <laughs> there's currently a little lizard over there that is scary. Yeah, it's got a massive tail. Long tail. No, no, no. Oh, sometimes I leave you sad and lonely. How was it? Oh my god, it was so cool. So Our little koala was his name was Sergeant. Sergeant. Yeah. Sergeant. He, was cool. he was such a good koala, gave us some good pics. Oh, where's the main centre? Yeah, that one. We'll see the, the okay, so 
the main center will kind of process the photos for us and then we can go and pick those up it was like 25 dollars australian to hold the koala hopefully we don't have to pay for the photo <laughs> all right so our next mission will probably go and try and feed some wallabies and some um, kangaroos because man this just keeps going too bright because we have yet to encounter any of those animals so <laughs> look at lindy <laughs> hey lindy holding a koala <laughs> <laughs> because of the lens that i have hopefully it wasn't too dark or too grainy because i have to play with the ice of it so we've got over an hour and a half to kind of look around the rest of the zoo century whatever you want to call it and um hell oh sergeant little <laughs> cutie look another one here's mine you <laughs> little cutie <laughs> there's lindy got well, lindy's on there <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't have to pay for the photos. They just chuck them off on the wall and you go and find your own. So yeah, let's go to the kangaroos, eh? Yeah. Let's go. Red neck wallaby, red kangaroo. Is it? Swamp wallaby, eastern grey kangaroo. One, two, three, four. Kangaroo, kangaroo, wallaby, wallaby. So there's like two types of kangaroos and two wallabies that are probably in here. You kind of walk through a gate and it opens up into a big park and then I guess we got to go and find them. So you come through the gates and then that opens up into a big park. Uh, we see emus people feeding them, I think. Um, so I thought they were behind this cage thing behind me. But he's actually like in front of it, so I guess they're free roaming. And people can just kind of interact with him. But what do we feed it with? Give him a little pet. Hey buddy. Not too sure if it's a wallaby or kangaroo, but... I think it's a kangaroo. <laughs> it's a bit of a mine... What do you call it? A mine area here for vlogging. Because of what I'm trying to concentrate on this part, there's fucking shit all the way. All, over <laughs> all across the park. I'm not moaning or anything though, I'm just, just saying, just saying. Fuck. There's a whole bunch more kangaroos and stuff up here be in there it's just scratching its belly <laughs> oh that's the funniest thing ever okay so I had to take my jersey off because it just got real hot surprisingly like they're not too what do you call bothered if you go up and pet them or have a look at them or talk to them and stuff. Um, people have gotten food somewhere where they're brought and then you can kind of feed them. But um, now nah, these are different colors. That's a red kangaroo. We've encountered some like more grayish type kangaroos and now there's some red ones over here. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna go have a little bit more of a look around. Um, yeah, it's quite peaceful in here actually. Real good. First encounter with kangaroos and wallabies. Though we're fighting all the time I'll still have you on my mind Always, always When I look into my eyes You still catch me by surprise Always, always, always Okay, so we just come up to the crocodile area in the dingoes we just pass a crocodile, the dingoes out there in the back. A lot of dogs, to be honest, but I think they're a bit wild. Um, not too sure, but yeah. When I booked this place, it, it clearly said Koala Century. Now, upon like our adventure towards this place, I heard that there were reptiles. And reptiles mean snakes. And um, there's, this, there's this little... Um, picnic area all these kids are just casually having like lunch or something and this lady has just pulled out a snake whether it's a zoo or in the world no snakes for me please I had a mad rant on my Instagram about that but yeah I'm just gonna stay here so I've come back to a patch of koalas again Look how they sleep. Some are eating leaves. I was gonna say, apparently they eat leaves for four hours of the day. 
and then they sleep the remaining 20. His butt is literally on like the end of the stick, like I don't know. You judge it, it could be in there, it could be not, but damn. So we made our way back through where we kind of met the koalas. Um, yeah, all this whole model part is like koala central, so. See if we can find some Tasmanian devils. Oh, yeah, that's the next thing. We're just passing through some cockatoos. Cockatoos? Yeah, cockatoos. And we're gonna go and find Tasmanian devils. <laughs> Up the tassies. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so he was walking across this grass patch here towards the devils and <laughs> there's like a random lizard just at the back there and <laughs> Lindy nearly fucking stomped on it. <laughs> and she got a hell of a fright. Now she's trying to break the attention saying look look look. Oh no, he's a oh damn it. Come back. Oh he's coming back. There is. Why are you following me? Where are you going now? <laughs> so there's like two types of cages here and there's like a little door in between. And old mate, Tazzy over there, keeps going in between both. Now they're being cheeky and just sitting in this little hole there. Right here. Bloody Tazzies. <laughs> That's why we came to Brisbane, not Tasmania. Just one there. Oh look, and he's got a third case that he can come to. We can only see one at the moment, but oh, look at this little hua. The old koalas crack me up, eh, because they love a good scratch. Oh look, there's a third one trying to jump on. So we've basically covered the whole park. Hey, and we're just yeah, coming across some turtles. I'm just stuck still. Alright, so we just came back to the kangaroo um, feeding area because we went to the cafe to get ice cream and we found the kangaroo food in there for like $2, $2 AUD. And um, we came back to feed them, but then once we kind of tried to feed them, I felt a little bit ratchet because like it's like they're well too fed. Um, some of them were refusing the feed and, and um, yeah, I feel like they were just kind of forcing themselves to eat and I was lounging around and like, it's a, it's a good life being a kangaroo in a sanctuary like this because obviously they get fed very well. But um, yeah, it's felt a bit ratchet because we might be overfeeding them and we're pretty much done with the park today. We've got about a half an hour to waste until our um, cruise goes back to where it picked us up. So we're just gonna kind of wash our hands once we get out of here. Pretty much just kind of wait around and go back to our boat when it's time. Leaves at quarter past two, it's half past one. So yeah, we'll just chill for a bit. Okay, so that's our visit to Lone Pine Century. Um, we just came back to the exit waiting for our, um, our boat to go back to Brisbane. We bought a boomerang in the souvenir shop before we left, something to put in the shelf back home or something. But um, yeah, otherwise I had a good time. Did you? Yeah, I did. Safe to say that we all had a good time here. Just making way to the boat now. We can now board it, get ready to get back to Brisbane. There she is. Wave. That's London there. About to jump out on this boat. And then, yeah, we'll see you back in Brizzy, eh? See you back in Brizzy. Yes, you know, yes, you know. Yes, you know. Just talking about his beer o'clock, but before we go there, we found these things here. Vegemite shapes, they're like real good. I'm not a Vegemite fan at all, to be honest, but these with shapes are the goods. Mm. Do you agree? Yeah. So we just got back to Jacobin Station, just caught our train from Brisbane all the way back here and we're pretty much back home now. It's got like a five minute drive home, but I think we're going to hit the supermarket yeah. to get some stuff before we get there for dinner or 
restock on some things that we've used over the last few days other than that that's the end of this video thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed it i had a real good day i had a great day linda you had a good day i had a great day and yeah that's all we got to say about the day tomorrow i don't know what we are to but um yeah hopefully I'll bring you another vlog all right so thanks for watching like it i don't know do what you want to do with it no, peace.